Hallelujah. Amen. Let us raise our hands together. And let us pray for him as he has requested as a body of Christ. We believe there are many things that the Lord is going to use him because he has a gift. The God who gave him that gift, he has a plan for that gift. I want you to lift him up in prayer. Lift him up into the hands of God so that he's always in the hands of God. I want you to begin to pray. Heavenly Father, full of grace, we thank you God for today. This day is written in the history of heaven that your word has been preached and your word even that is being preached it has come as a, as a living seed in the hearts of men I believe that your word is going to continue to do its work Father your servant he has done everything so that your word is preached today. we lift him up O oh God and put him into your mighty hands and we ask for your grace that, he, that is upon to use his life to continue using his life Father we ask for your divine protection on his life we ask for the Holy Ghost to increase and operate in his life may you direct his spirit may you direct his heart may you direct his soul may you direct his thoughts God may you direct all his life in everything that pertains to him in the kingdom of God I pray for the spirit of wisdom to be increased upon his life I pray for the spirit of love to be, to be confirmed on his life Father may you dress him with power and your grace in Jesus mighty name I pray for a new anointing because whatever he has used is God we pray for a fresh anointing that is going to do the mighty works in Boston. I pray for the spirit of revelation to reveal everything is supposed to be there. That he will be led by the spirit and your servant will follow so that he finds everything prepared for him. May you strengthen him in his body. May you help him, O God. We have asked and believed that Father, you've had our in Jesus mighty name say amen and amen hallelujah hallelujah I also want us to lift up our father Tom whatever God has enabled him to do in us the seeds of the word of God that he has put in our lives the love he has and even the, the, the diligence he also needs you to pray for him Paul said Paul said pray for me that I'm able to reveal the, the, the revelation of Christ in me that be, because pastor has that anointing and is able to deliver the word he also needs the prayers of the body of Christ I want you to raise your hands unto pastor Tom Hallelujah. Raise your hands unto the man of God. Because this is the vessel that's being used. The prayers of the saints do a lot. Heavenly Father, I want you to pray for them. Whatever is in your heart, speak to the man of God. That God will accomplish it in his life. He needs to be renewed. He needs to be given strength. He needs the hand of God to always be with him. He needs the spirit of wisdom to get the revelation, the word of God. Father God, we pray that you continue to use this man of God even in these last days we do not have so many who, who release the word of teaching that trains a man to become what they ought to become Heavenly Father we thank you for your servant you've sent him in such a time as this to this body 
To sow a seed of your word that delivers, that gives man life. You've sent him to send a seed of your word that helps a man grow from being a child into full maturity in Christ. Father, we ask you. That you, you give him a, a, a separate grace. He needs your power. Wherever he needs to be strengthened. He needs to be renewed. Wherever he needs to be renewed. Father, we pray for new anointing. On his life. That will go to work. In all the conferences he's doing in this country. We pray for the protection of the angels. To surround his life. We pray for the ministry. Angels, to minister to him wherever he goes. May you dress him with favor before the sons of men, those who know him, those who do not know him. Father, may your grace increase on his life. Use him, God, to raise his life, his wife, that he walks with as his wife is a part of his body. As they stand together to minister, strengthen them, O God, even in their older age. That, may, that they may do whatever you, you call them to do. We ask and believe that they are going to pay all the debts. That's all the radio stations they have. Whatever money that has been given, it might not be enough. But Heavenly Father, we know you are the God, Jehovah Jireh. You began the good work in through this man of God. We believe that you bring it to accomplishment. In Jesus' mighty name. Say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. This is the first time I came, I came for this meeting. We've also been in prayer and fasting at our church. And I also had other, other commitments. Because I plan to go to Uganda today. I wouldn't have been to Uganda today. I would be in Uganda by today. There's another, uh, some other work we're doing with another organization in Texas. Uganda Tugenda, Kubanga, Tulisa, Bantu. Yeah, in Uganda they are going to be feeding those who are suffering from food insecurity we plan to feed around 30,000 people in Uganda we shall begin in refugee camps we shall go to Karamoja we are believing God to see his grace now, now me too will be planning to go to Uganda we also have a ministry the work that it does in Uganda there's a work of the Lord we're doing in Namulong. There's a new church that was medical camps. There's a medical camp there. We hope to put certain children into school. This place we're in is invested by, by Muslims. I don't know why God led me to that area. But God has given us the grace. Has softened the hearts of the Muslims. Among them, most of the people were, were paying tuition. From, from now the Muslims love the church. And they are, now they say that is their church as well. Sometimes they come wearing their own attire. We have gotten some, some of them to give their life to Christ because of the work God has enabled us to do among them. Thanks be to God. I don't want to speak a lot. I'm happy to see you and for the work you're doing and everything God is going to use you mightily Amen Hallelujah Amen